How impressed would your students be if you came into class one day and took a pop can or a soda can, whatever you call it, and just ripped it apart? I think they'd be pretty impressed, wouldn't you? Now, this is an impressive demonstration, but I think it gets a lot of outstanding product chemistry across, too. Think about how a soda can is produced. What we have is an outside layer that's painted. In between that and the inside layer, we have the aluminum can. And in between the aluminum and the soda, we have a plastic lining. They have a plastic lining to ensure that the soda, the pop, will not touch the aluminum. And so what you are able to do is to take a can like this, empty it out, clean it out, and what you want to do is destroy that inside plastic layer. So take a triangular file and go down. I'm right underneath the Pepsi. And just start scoring all the way around the can. You'll see a little impression in the can as it moves out. The can moves out. And you do it all the way around. And once that's done, then what you're going to do is to take approximately 3 molar cupric chloride. You want to be uh, cautious about this, but what you want to do is pour it into the can so that it's above where you have scored the mark. Now, you want to be careful about this, otherwise it's going to be too obvious. I don't know if the camera can see it. But this is another prepared can where the mark is just at the bottom of the Pepsi. And what you will do is just continually watch this. That plastic is now gone in that spot, and the cupric chloride, the copper ions, are going to start an oxidation reduction reaction between the copper ions and the aluminum metal. And you're going to start forming solid copper, and what's going to happen to the aluminum? It's going to go to aluminum ions. And so what you're seeing here in this mark, the plastic is gone. You removed it with the file. Most of the aluminum can is gone. And so all you have holding this together is just a shell of paint. And so it's very easy to just rip it apart. And then if you look, you can see some of the deposited copper on the inside. Now, be very careful. Make sure that before you do this, you do dump out all of the cupric chloride. And make sure you rinse it out with water. You have to be very gentle rinsing out with water to get all of it so that you don't destroy it. And I'll leave it up to you. Some teachers like to do this where they have a regular soda can and they'll give it to a strong person. They'll try to rip it and give someone not so strong this can, the prepared can, and they can do it. Now this is an outstanding demonstration, but I think what I like to do is to continue this to the next level to really show this. And I have this as a static demonstration in my room the last two or three years. I happen to have here a particular can that's unprepared. Now what I did is took it and used an electric sander to sand off the entire label. I got, in this case, I got rid of the paint. So now what are we seeing? The aluminum can. And then what I would do is I would take a pencil and I would just insert it. I would open the can. I would get rid of about two-thirds of the pop, and it's going to have to be something you're going to play with. Get rid of about two-thirds of the soda, so you have enough for ballast and weight, and so you just stick the pencil in there, and you put it in a beaker, and you will add 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide. I would recommend doing this in the hood, just to be on the cautious side, and what's going to happen is, You've got most of the soda out. Now you've got this in a beaker where you're going to pull the 1.5 molar around it. And ultimately, it's going to start reacting with the aluminum. And it's going to be 
in an oxidation reduction reaction, it's going to get rid of most of the aluminum can. And what you get is something like this. And this is a static demonstration that if you're careful, you can have it last for years. Now I keep a little water in there. You try to gently, delicately rinse it out, and there's what you have. I have gotten rid of the paint. I've gotten rid of most of the aluminum, and guess what you have? Just the plastic shell. And I think the students have to see the thought and the chemistry that has gone behind even the production of a pop or soda can. And then you can just let this set in your room and it should last two or three years. So this is a real nice activity where you can connect with oxidation reduction, where you can talk about technology and the integration of chemistry with it. But once again, I love to show the relevance of the chemistry and where it pertains to particular products and anything else that connects with the student life. So, Try this in your classroom, it works beautifully.